I'm Will. This is the 2021 Li Auto One, and this is China Driven. I'm here today at a charge station to charge the Li One up to ugh, 100%, then I'm gonna take it onto the motorway to see how much range I can get out of it. Now that is EV only range, not its combined range. There's no way I'm going to see how close I can get to its 1,080 kilometer range because as the crow flies, if it could do that, that would be Changsha to Hanoi. So EV only range, it's a little bit more doable. Okay, so I've just charged the Lee Auto One up to 99%. And I am going to hit the motorway. I'm going to keep the car in electric mode and then turn on the NOA and basically see what kind of real world range we get. Okay, so we are on the motorway in the Lee Auto One. We're currently in NOA and it's following the navigation. We're gonna drive about 80 kilometers south and then 80 kilometers back uh, to see what kind of range we can get from the EV only mode. We're currently on 96%. Now at 20%, the engine will kick in to help provide power to the motors. That is to try to keep the battery safe by not letting it discharge too low so i'll probably have the radio on i won't have the ac on we'll go down there we'll go back and we'll basically see you know how close it is to the claimed range okay back to the range test we're doing 120 now we're on 74 percent now the ranges for the original 2020 model and this the 2021 model are different firstly uh, there were some changes with the motors which made the motors more efficient and so the electric only range in this 2021 model is slightly better than the older model in here it's claimed to get 188 kilometers on the NEDC versus 180 in the old model but the combined range is really where stuff kind of takes a big jump. So the older model had a combined range of 800 kilometers on the NEDC, whereas this newer model has a combined range of 1,080 kilometers, also on the NEDC. Now, the reason why there's such a big jump is very simple. It's got a larger fuel tank, 10 liters more than the older model. And the way that Lee Auto were able to increase that fuel tank was by combining the motor controller into the drive unit itself. So it, in the old model, it used to be a two-in-one of the reducer and the motor, with the motor controller being separate, but now that's all been combined into a three-in-one drive system, giving them a little bit more space to squeeze another 10 liters of tank space. I didn't really think about how far 1,080 kilometers was, and when I kind of put it on a map, as the crow flies from Changsha, it's like Changsha to Hanoi. Like, now granted, it's on the NEDC, so the chances are you're not going to see that kind of range, but any car that can kind of go from Changsha anywhere near towards Hanoi, I mean, that's kind of impressive in one go. So with that increased 10 liters, you're talking about an increase in combined range of 35%. Pretty big jump, really. Okay, we've done 62 kilometers, driving 53 minutes, and we're on 55%. So it's not just that 10 liter increase in tank size that's given that 35% increase in combined range for the Lee Auto One. The engine is also more efficient. It used to be doing 33 miles per gallon on the NEDC, and now it's claimed to be doing 39 miles per gallon on the NEDC. So a six mile per gallon increase over the outgoing model. And all of that, including the tank space, gives you that 
longer range, that longer combined range, 35% more. As well as, you know, the motors also being more efficient as well. So I'm using the NOA system here in the Lee One. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about some of the sensors and stuff that have changed between the model. Now there is a, a change to the ADS chip. In the 2020 model, they were using a Mobile Eye Q4 chip, which was good for 2.5 top. In this newer model, they're using a Horizon Robotics Journey 3 chip, which is good for 10 tops. Okay, so 58 minutes of driving, 72 kilometers. We're currently on 47%. We're coming off the motorway. Uh, and then we're going to flip around and get back on it and head back to Changsha and see at what point we get to that 20% when that engine's going to kick in. Okay, my camera at the front has died and we're going back on the motorway back to Changsha. So let's see when we hit that 20% when the engine will kick in. We are currently one hour and two minutes. We've done 72 kilometers and we're on 47 percent now for sensors we'll first talk about the primary camera in here on the older lee ones it was a uh, hd 1.3 megapixel camera and it had a distance of about 140 meters this newer model has a 4k 8 megapixel camera and its viewing distance is 200 meters not only that this primary camera now has a much better field of view. Uh, the old 2020 model had a field of view horizontally of only 52 degrees, whereas this has a much, much wider view of the road, 120 degrees. And vertically, the old one had a 43 degree uh, field of view, whereas this one's got 54 degree field of view. So that wider field of view in this car allows it to see three lanes at the same time at a distance of three meters in front of itself. So it's more aware and able to see what's going on either side of it. And that's not the only sensor change for this newer 2021. The older Lee one was using a Bosch Gen 4 radar at the front and it had a 90 degree field of view and it was able to see for 150 meters. Now, that radar has been replaced and four more radars have been added. The radar at the front now is a Bosch Gem 5 and it has a field of view again of 120 degrees and a distance of 200 meters. Now, unlike the 2020 model, this 2021 model has four additional radar units. They are again Gem 5 Bosch radar units and it's one on each corner. Now, compared to the radar on the front, the radars on the corner put more priority on field of view. So they have a wider field of view, 150 degrees, but shorter viewing distance of uh, 110 meters. Update, we've done 88.2 kilometers, an hour and 11 minutes, and we're on 34%. Oh, I wish I had my camera on. It's a transporter full of Wooling Mini EVs. So uh, the other thing is, uh, on the center screen here, you can select it and you can view the vehicle and it'll give you some information about how the vehicle is using uh, its motors uh, and the engine or battery power to power the wheels. So for a lot of the time that you're driving along, cruising along like this, it's just battery power. Obviously we're in electric only mode. Uh, it's just driving the rear wheels. When it accelerates, obviously then, you know, it will then use the front wheels. So cruising around, this car is rear wheel drive. Update, we're on 21%, 103.5 kilometers, an hour and 21 minutes. Let's now keep an eye to see when the engine kicks in. Yeah, there we go, 20%, the engine is clicked in. So we need 104.4 kilometers before the engine kicked in at 20%, from around 97%, I believe, is where we started. So you're gonna get, a, you know, and this is going 100 to 120, right? So in the city, you're gonna get much more than 100 kilometers of range out of it. I might actually drive around the city as well and uh, see how we get on. So I drove around the city, but it was gonna take hours. So I drove from 45% to 20% in pure EV mode until the engine kicked in. 
Still took me like an hour and a half. I did 39.4 kilometers, drained 25%. So doing some questionable maths means for the same 77% battery usage as the highway, I would have gone 121.4 kilometers. So cutting a long story short, urban driving equals more EV mileage, obviously. Right, I'm coming off the motorway now. This has been a range test of the Lee One's pure electric range on the motorway. I'm Will, and this is China Driven. Thank you.